All right, I'm back. <laughs> my battery don't be holding all the all the charge like it's supposed to, so my shit be, you know what I'm saying? The messages be coming and getting out real quick. I woke up this morning. I had that song in my head. Um, Sing for me. I'm just a telephone call away. Sing for me. I can't sing <laughs> at all, but... That shit was in my head this morning when I woke up. You know what I mean? And um, put a message, put a message in the bottle, baby. Sing for me. <laughs> um, that shit is dope, but you know it just made me think. Like, no much, no matter what you go through in life or what you're dealing with, the divine is always there for you to solve these issues. It's going to help you <laughs> no matter like how you perceive it, whatever, like life will go all the way out of whack because of no connection with the the ideal of the or the, or the or the creation or the divine principle that gave you the existence that you live. I know plenty of us has heard growing up. I don't owe you shit because I gave you life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that was being taken from a principle of divine understanding even though it was arrogantly used to control things you know what i'm saying like it's still divine principle you can't you can't worry about anything else that's going on in the world until until you give that respect respect to the divine hold on and everybody always right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody always right. They, you know what I'm saying? The only thing that matters is what's going on with them. Everybody always right. I ain't mad at that. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody got something to say. Everybody found the key of life and all that. And the only key of life is divine principle. <laughs> Submit yourself and sacrifice yourself to that. You know what I'm saying? And that doesn't mean put your body on something, cut yourself open. Well, for some individuals it may because they don't carry a soul or whatever. But for the most part, you know, in, in original pretenses, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't mean for you to do that to you. It means for you to open up yourself to that idealism and and and, and live within that instead of live, living within your own self-understanding and the way you see things in the world. The world is supposed to be built like this. The world is supposed to have turmoil and the worst heinous shit ever happening. It's supposed to have something to make you judge and point the finger. That's how we got put in this shit. They tell you that little punk ass story about Adam and Eve and he blamed her and she blamed him and then they blamed this. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was pointing the finger. You wrong. You wrong. It's always three fingers pointing back at you when you pointing one. So if you giving the homage to the divine, you ain't got to worry about none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like. When in fact, things are always going to happen. Things are always going to happen. And our thing is, we think we can go out here and fix everything. Who gave you divine power to say you could do that? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing gave you the power to do that. You know what? A man came in and makes you believe that you are that. Because it's divine energy that we carry that gave us the spark of life. The job was you for you to grow. It's like. If you had if you had to race somebody and y'all had two two roads to race on, the point for both of you is to get to the end of that road, not veer off of the path and go through the mountains and come down and pop up in the front or go around a whole circle, spin around, come up in the front of the it's that's not this is not Looney Tunes, you know what I'm saying? Like this is not Looney Tunes. This is not how it's supposed to work. If the divine says come from here and go straight down the road and get here. That's all you're supposed to do. No more, no less. I don't care who stops you in the middle. I don't care who offers you a pie. I don't care who came and gave you an apple. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about none of that shit. The whole understanding is how well can you keep your focus on the divine? It's always going to be something trying to deter you from that understanding, overstanding and understanding. It's going to always be something trying to deter you. And it's going to pull at your heartstrings. It's going to make you say, yeah, that's messed up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, son. We got to do something. <laughs> You're a whole idiot out here. Go ahead. Keep trying to do something. Everybody looking to play their worldly role. And the worldly roles ain't going to do nothing but put you there. The farther you walk away from the divine, the farther your pretense is getting. The farther your pretense is getting worldly. We are divine beings. My job is to grow into a, into a world myself. I carry. I carry. We can look off into space and see these large giant suns and magnetars and 
everything in the universe that has to do with something giving off light. We carry that shit inside of us condensed. Condensed. You know why? You know why the concept of everything in life has to follow up everything that we are. But we can't see who we are because we're not connected to the divine. Like how everybody eats sprouts, right? Sprouts. You love to eat a sprout. You love to grow the baby plants in your endocell and eat them because they're so healthy. You know what I mean? We are the universal sprouts. What you allowing to eat you out here? Got your head all messed up into some in some concept. We are the universal sprouts. And that's all that really matters. You're supposed to grow. Take that energy that's condensed inside you and grow into a universe. How well do you control your life? How well are you allowing your life to be guided for that potential? So therefore, if you was to become a world, would the people have a, a good playing field to be guided in the right direction? That's the things people don't never ask themselves because they're too busy worrying about everything outside of themselves. Shit ain't got nothing to do with you, but you all into that shit. When it comes to your peoples, you can't even focus on your peoples. You know why? Because your worldly connection is large. You know what I mean? You're too busy wanting to be seen. The divine says, come back to me. You won't know no sickness, no, no death. And see, death, death is death is immediate to a lot of standpoints as far as it is existence to the understanding. Meaning, you can be deaf and don't hear nothing. You can be deaf, you can be deaf universally and can't hear the signs and symbols that you're supposed to be using. You can die. You know what I'm saying? Death falls in so many different attributes. So you got to be mindful of these certain things that you just happenly, humbly walk past like you don't give a damn. I ain't worried about that. But then you get you get even more upset when you are closed off to the signs and symbols that you're supposed to be using. That give you clarity on really what's going on out here in this world, in this dimension, in this vibration that we living on. I don't care what nobody think about me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't about how I feel. My connection is with the divine. Respect. At the end of the day, if you ain't strengthening that thing every day to use to make your shit tighter, stronger, for whatever that pretense means, for your perception that's dialed into the divine understanding, you've already lost the race. Or you got a long way to run and catch that shit up. It's up to you what you want to do. You keep pointing the finger at anybody talking about how this went left or what this person did or how fucked up this country is or what that, that. None of that shit matters, yo. It's no power. It's like it's like it's like you being in charge of the plug that goes into the wall. You the only person in the house. The electrical current is there, but you got to plug that into the wall to make the lights come on. That's divine. Divine hooked up to connections is the energy and has the plug in his hand. So everything that needs to be solidified to make sure that that light come on is in with, within that concept. So if I needed something to change within this dimension, I would have to give the wherewithal that I'm straight enough for the divine to say, all right, now I can plug you in. That's when things start changing. Now the light going to come on because you know why the divine plugged me into the wall. A lot of people ain't going to get that concept because they too busy worrying about the immediate shit. And the more you worried about that immediate shit, the more lost you're going to be as far as the what's taking place.